Hey guys, my name is Mark with D7. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'll be showing you how you can adjust aperture to affect depth of field. Depth of field helps bring attention to your subject so your foreground and your background will be out of focus. I'll be using the Mavic 2 Pro. However, if you have other camera drones with adjustable aperture, then I think you'll find this video helpful too. So I'll be answering how depth of field appears in actual footage, how to adjust for it, and to determine if it's actually something usable in your drone footage. So full disclosure guys, after a lot of testing, I did come to realize that depth of field is actually unusable for drone footage. But if you'd like to see how I came to that conclusion, then here we go. As you can see, I'll be using the peak focus threshold feature to easily identify what is in focus and not. So anything with a lot of red indicates that it is in focus. I'll start with f2.8, which should show off depth of field the most, with the background then being the most out of focus. I'll go ahead and touch on the billboard sign there. And so you can see all the red markings there. I just touched it closer to bring in the focus point closer and you can see the red markings are now closer. And so I'm gonna step out to the field and I'm gonna walk up to the red area and you'll be able to clearly see my shoes in the shot right about there. And I'm about three feet in front of the camera. The background as you can see is somewhat out of focus. So there's a demonstration of depth of field. I'm gonna actually focus a little bit closer, step up closer, and now it's at about two feet distance and you'll see my shoes are in focus. Again, the background is clearly out of focus. And then I'll touch to focus on the sign and you can see the foreground go out of focus and the sign becoming in focus. And then I'll touch the foreground again, bringing that back into focus and the background going out of focus. So now I'm gonna close down the aperture all the way down to F11. I'll adjust the shutter speed to adjust exposure. And then you'll see the foreground has a lot of red markings as well as the billboard. So both areas are in decent focus. I'll touch the foreground and you'll see the red markings are about the same. Touch the sign, same thing. Touch the hill in the back. And again, the focus is just about the same. So at higher aperture settings, you'll see objects that are both close and far away in decent focus. So now that I've demonstrated all that, you'll see here that depth of field is not usable. I am as close to sign as possible, limited by the distance the forward object avoidance sensors allow, and with the aperture set at f2.8. So you can see the hill in the background is in focus as well as the sign. So for depth of field to take effect, you need to be closer than the forward sensors would allow, which is not at all realistic for scenery shots, of course, but probably doable for say a selfie. All right guys, so that is it. I wish depth of field was something usable with drones, which would allow some nice creativity, but it's a no-go in this case. So hope you found this video informative. If you did, then please hit that like button to show your support. Got a lot more drone videos coming up, so be sure to subscribe. Happy flying, bye.